Welcome to the APW Repair Center. Today we're going to show you how to rebuild an RSV pump head. The tools that you'll need for this are a 10 millimeter inline wrench, a 17 millimeter inline wrench, a 19 millimeter inline wrench, a 21 millimeter inline wrench, a five millimeter Allen wrench, a pair of reversible pliers, a flathead screwdriver, and a hooked dental pick or something similar. The first thing we will do is replace the chemical injector. Using a 10 millimeter inline wrench, remove the hose barb, then remove the ball and spring. Clean the area of any chemical or Loctite residue and you'll be ready for the new parts. Apply new Loctite or Teflon tape to hose barb threads. Place the ball into the hose barb followed by the spring and insert the fully assembled chemical injector into the injector port and tighten until snug. Up next is the unloader replacement. Use the flathead screwdriver to lever the cap off of the unloader. Next, use the 21 millimeter inline wrench to loosen and remove the unloader. Underneath the unloader is the seat. The seat will be stuck tight and the reversible pliers will be needed to work it out. Before installing the new seat, you will want to grease the o-ring to prevent any friction damage when installing. Insert the new seat with the concave side facing up and the flat side facing down. Use a blunt object to fully press it into the port. Next, insert the unloader valve and tighten it until it is snug. Insert the locking pin if it has fallen out, then replace the unloader cap and tap it into place. And we are on to the jet valve. Use the 19 mm inline wrench to remove the 3 8 detergent injector. Remove the jet and install the new one. Most RSV jet kits come with a spring, but their heads haven't been manufactured with springs in the jets for years, so don't freak out if yours doesn't have one because it will still function properly. On to the easy start. Use the 5mm Allen wrench to remove the assembly. Your new assembly may come unassembled. Insert the ball into the easy start plug, then insert the spring into the bottom assembly cap, and then insert the cap into the plug, and you're ready to reinstall using the 5mm Allen wrench. Now onto the check valves. Loosen and remove the valve cap with the 17 mm inline wrench. Now that the check valve is exposed, use the pick to separate the spring retainer from the valve seat by pulling it up around the edges. Once it is loose, pull it out along with the spring and plate. Next, use the reversible pliers to pull the seat out. Before installing the new assembled check valve, you will want to grease the o-ring to prevent friction damage when installing. Now install the new check valve into the port and press it into place until it is flush with the bottom. Reinstall the cap and tighten until snug. Next, we will need to remove the head to get at the remaining check valves. Use the 5mm Allen wrench to loosen and remove the bolts securing the head to the body. To remove the head, you may need to use a flathead screwdriver as a lever. Make sure all seals and retainers come off with the head and don't remain on the pistons. 
Use the reversible pliers to remove the retainer inside the head and pull out the packing left behind. As with the other check valves, use the pick to remove the spring retainer by pulling up on the edges and separating it from the seat. Remove the remaining spring and plate, then use the reversible pliers to pull the seat from the port. Grease the o-ring on the new check valve and also the o-ring on the retainer before installing. Insert the new check valve into the port and press it into place. On top of that, replace the packing, followed by the retainer. Before reinstalling the head to the pump body, you'll want to grease the water seals inside the retainers to prevent any friction damage when sliding onto the pistons. Now you can reinstall the head to the pump. Make sure you don't over tighten the head bolts because you can break the bolt heads off or damage the threads with over tightening. And that's it for today at the APW Repair Center. Join us for future repair videos. And as always, enjoy clean times.